What's up, YouTube? This is Cass from Card Lens with a video on the top 10 most valuable cards from the Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire set. We've been tracking the sale price on eBay of every character. Uh, we've been tracking the base cards. There's also parallel cards in this set. So there's teal, number to 99, green to 50, orange to 25, gold to 15, I believe, purple to 10, red to 5, and the one of one, which I believe is pronounced Pod Parasha. Um, we've been tracking the sale price for every character in the base and those parallels, and also the sale price in box breaks. So some folks have done uh, breaks, and there are folks who bid on characters on those breaks, so we track the uh, sale price there. What we've done is come up with a percentage above the average that certain cards are selling for. And it's interesting to see that some cards sell for much more than the average Garbage Pail Kid Sapphire card. So we wanted to start with uh, this, which is actually the average. Dead Fred is selling for 100% of the average. So if you're familiar with the concept of a replacement player in baseball, this is kind of the average player or the replacement character uh, for a Garbage Pail Kid Sapphire. That's at 100%. First, number 10 is Mad Mike. Okay, this is 183% of the average. We have Junk Food John, 185%. Next we have Dead Ted, that's 192%. Next up Live Mike, 195%. Next Fry and Ryan, 211%. Next J Decay, 229%. Interesting to note that this is the B version of the card. You'll remember the Dead Ted card uh, is the A version. Typically, the A versions are worth more than the B versions, but in this case, this is selling for more than the A version. Now, we're coming to the final four, and if you know anything about Garbage Pail Kids, you'll probably have a good guess as to what the final four are. These are truly the stars of the Garbage Pail Kids set, they're from OS1 or original series one. So in this particular reprint, reprint of OS1 and OS2 that's been released by Tops, uh, these are certainly the top four most valuable cards. And number four, Evil Eddie is 361% of the average card. Then you have Blasted Billy at 638%. Number two, Nasty Nick. Nasty Nick is selling for 840% of the average card. And uh, the true Hall of Famer, the true iconic card in Garbage Pail Kids is, of course, Adam Bomb. That's selling for 1,568% more than the average Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire card. So there you have it, the top 10 most valuable Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire cards. We hope this video was helpful. If you have a question about any character you're looking to buy, you're always welcome to uh, send us an email, hello at cardlens.com. We're happy to share some of this pricing information um, so you can make intelligent buys on eBay and other places. Thanks, everyone. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy and happy and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching the video.